Hello everyone, as I, in, in this video, I'm going to reveal Field of Trucks in the, free, the Freestyle or the World Finals 2. Now, start off, we have George Belhan in Mohawk Warrior. As he, he only had 36, <coughs> no, like 36 points in total. And having him put the least amount of points coming into World Finals. And then we have Chris Bergeron and Brutus. Who is, like, this was only his first season. Chris Bergeron's first season. Last season, I'm sorry, last season it was Rich Hogendorf driving Brutus. But this time it's Chris Bergeron. And he was able, and unlike Rich Hogendorf, Chris Bergeron was able to get enough points to make it to the world finals here we have Jeff McGritton in the felon this is actually gonna be his very last freestyle in the felon as next season he's gonna be driving motor 59 which is a truck he revealed uh, in an encore for world finals one unfortunately never he was still work. He was actually still working on the truck. So, yep, this is his final ride in the felon. Let's hope it's a good one. Joey Parnell and Iron Outlaw will be the first one to come out. That's right. Will be the fourth driver to come out and do freestyle. As he was actually placed on the f on, on the field of trucks based on the points he got. So, yeah. And the winner of the very first Minneapolis, Minnesota event, Scott, Scott Hartsock and Gunslinger, as he only did one event, which is why he's coming out so early. And, and uh, we have Jimmy Creighton and Bounty Hunter. Alan Pizzo and Predator, who was the very first one to come out in New Freestyle in Houston, in the Houston, Texas event. And was the leader for the entire event to lock himself into World Finals for the first time. Tom Mensa actually had a horrible season as he's gonna be the eighth one to go out and do freestyle. And Warren War Wizard is not gonna go out and do freestyle first this time. Because remember he was the first one to go out and do freestyle in the last World Finals. That's not the case for this one because he did amazing this season. And the Union Blue Thunder, not much of a good season compared to last time, but you know what? Still pretty good. Mark McDonald and El Toro Loco really messed up the season, which I'm not really sure why, but or how. Tried his best, but he is not based on the points he has, he, he's not gonna he cannot he's not able to battle for a title. But Damon Bradshaw will if he could actually beat him. If he could actually get it done right. Unfortunately, yeah, thing is, I think Medusa might not be able to get retain, like get the title, East title again. We don't know yet. Now Dennis Anderson and Grave Digger is points later for the East series. Grindor is nine, is ten points behind him in in the point standings. So John Cusack basically has to get a, 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 a freestyle score that is ten, that is ten more points than Dennis Anderson's to get the title. Captain's Curse was awesome all season long. We're going to see if he could get it done. We have to get his points there with 90 points. Let's see if he could get the time. Jim Corlin Avenger was very consistent enough in the West Series to actually become the points leader with a one, one with 101 points. Let's see if he could get the title. So that is the field of trucks. As Mohawk Warrior will be going first and Avenger will be going last. And we'll see you in the World Finals.